Hello everybody, this is NXGTR. Today I'm gonna show you a video about a simulated comparison test between the Chevrolet Camaro Super Sport 2011 convertible and the Ford Mustang 2011 convertible GT. For simulation purposes, I'm going to use the NXGTR sim. Uh, this is an advanced free online car performance computer simulator uh, which you can use for free of course. Uh, I'm going to click hit. You can sign up on uh, your own cars and that stuff, but I'm going to use the guest mode, which is a bit limited, but it's going to be enough for this video. Uh, I'm going to set up a drag test. There's other tests here, but uh, I'm going to focus on this one right now. First, I'm going to add uh, the Chevrolet Camaro Super Sport here. And I'm going to click here to add uh, another opponent, and it's going to be the Ford Mustang GT convertible. I'm going to mess with the weight here, so I'm going to just click accept. Uh, I'm going to run the test, and we are going to see how the cards run. Uh, the images uh, are the stock provided because uh, there's no specific images for all cars, so just forget about these images. Oh, okay, here is the results. The Chevrolet Camaro at 13 and 35 and 13 and 17 for the Mustang GT convertible. Uh, it looks like the Ford Mustang and, and both both cards are stuck by the way. Uh, it seems like the Ford Mustang GT is, is faster at least at quarter mile test. But let's see how the dashboard looks while racing. Uh, for that I'm going to click here in magazine test and uh, I'm going to select um, Chevrolet Camaro again and here we we have a dynamic dashboard and and this classic magazines test so I'm going to run the test and we can see how it speed ups this is the touch this is the speed on letter uh, we have GeForce here timings uh, the current speed, seconds, here's the quarter mile, and here the car is going to be speeding and speeding up. Um, for uh, current production cars, this, the top speed is limited to 155 miles per hour, but um, as a simulator here, we can really uh, notice uh, how's the uh, max possible speed it can reach or it could reach if it wasn't limited or you can't remove that limitation. Of course the g-force is going to be dropping and dropping to to the point that it won't accelerate anymore even if if there's plenty of more RPM available to to speed up. Uh, this is gonna take long so I'm going to stop this and I'm going to do a new test, but this time I'm going to ch to choose the Ford Mustang GT. As you can see, the the dashboard uh, it's created uh, dynamically, so this is a different one, uh, which shows um, speedometer for the Mustang GT and the touch for the engine RPM that the Mustang engine manage. So I'm going to click here to run the test again and here we can see here's the speed times g-force quarter mile this is the touch moving to red line speed and here we go uh, it reached quarter mile already I'm going to wait for one kilometer yeah, it's close there you have 23 and 42 the top speed uh, it's limited for the Mustang 2 but this is going to be a simulation and we can see it could reach much more speed uh, than it's allowed to well I think uh, this is everything thank you for watching bye